Capricorn. Hi. Welcome and welcome back to Mana Copes' Tarot. I am Amira. This is going to be a weekly reading for you. Um, this week, Cap, we're going to look at where you are, where you want to be, and what's holding you back from getting to that point or what's keeping you stuck, okay? No specific parameters, so this may resonate for you in the, in, in the area of life, love, career, your finances, self, and personal growth, any of the above, okay? So whatever comes out is what we'll talk about. Thank you guys for being here, for your consistent support. I have recently reached a milestone on my channel and I am so happy, proud, and grateful, okay? All of the above, because I would not be here without you. <coughs> Seriously. So thank you so much for being here. If you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so at this time. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. I think, um, fairly consistent okay with uploading just about every day um i definitely do my weekly so i'm here for it i'm here for you anything you guys are wanting to know that you're not aware of about me or my channel or my readings will be in the description box okay as well as my main page there's some more information on there as as far as my history and my um education is concerned Okay, let's get into this message from Capricorn, where they are, where they want to be, and what's holding them back. Clear and concise messages, please, for Capricorn. Clear and concise messages. Okay. Let's see here, little buttercup. What's the message here, please, for Capricorn? Okay, where you are? Seven of Swords. Where are you? Where are you running? Where are you trying to run to? Where are you going? <laughs> you can see me. Where are you going? <laughs> Seven of Swords, all right? This is like the great escape, even especially on this card. It's like a whole freaking movie scene going on. Okay, what's going on here? Um, all right, there's a lot going on here. I feel like you want to be alone, if I'm being honest, okay? I feel like you, you, you don't want to, um, yeah, you're wanting to be alone. You want to do something on your own. I feel like somebody is really begging to come with you or, or um, I mean, maybe not literally begging, but in their actions, okay? Someone really, uh, but you, I feel like you're not interested in not having it, okay? You're wanting to do something alone. Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords, of course, we, yeah, like, it's like you're, um, some of you leaving a, a romantic situation behind where, where there's been some deception. Um, but the Seven of Swords energy, you know, we, we all know it as lying, stealing, cheating, so on and so forth but it also is really just an energy of someone who wants to keep shit to themselves okay whether it's ethical or unethical to be determined um but this is someone who wants to keep things under wraps okay let's see where you want to be where are you going where are you going capricorn Nine of Wands in the reverse. Okay. So the Nine of Wands in the reverse is someone who doesn't want to put in the work anymore. Okay. This is someone who has determined that their efforts have been wasted. This is also someone being defeated, I feel. Okay. This is like um, feeling defeated and falling into that defeat. But it's, it, it, I don't, I don't, I don't get the energy here that it's for the negative. I think that it's a good thing. 
I do. I think that's a good, I think it's necessary. Okay. Because the Nine of Wands energy can often be like proving a point in excess. And I feel like in the reversal here, this is you realizing like, I don't need to prove shit to anybody and, and I'm going to do what's best for me. And even if that means leaving in the middle of the night when you don't know I'm gone. Okay. That's what I get here. Nine of Wands in the reverse. This is also my PTSD card. Okay, I, and, 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 and together with that Seven of Swords, I feel like there's something here that may have triggered you to, to it's like the last straw kind of thing. Um, but you're doing it because this is what would be healthier for you. This will, this is what will be best for you. That, that, that Nine of Wands in reverse is someone who's very fearful. Okay. I don't know, I, I don't know if you guys feel like somebody's chasing you or like somebody would. Yeah, and I said that over here with the Seven of Swords. I feel like someone's begging. That's what I'm getting. Someone is begging to come along with you or um, like, again, by way of their words, their actions, or maybe they've done this in the past. So you just feel like they will and that's why you need to leave in the middle of the night and do this shit behind your back. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's stopping you or holding you back. The alien in the reverse. This is the hermit card in the reversal. So let's talk about this for a minute because in, in this particular deck, the, the hermit card or the alien, it, it speaks on the understanding that we're not for everyone. It, it speaks on the understanding that we receive our information elsewhere. Okay, and, and that sometimes we do have to walk alone. Um, but there's an inability for you to accept that or realize that I do. Like I said, like I was saying with that seven of swords, I don't think it has anything to do with doing something that is negative or, or um, you know, deceitful in a, in a way that is that is harming another person what have you okay you get what I'm, you get my drift i feel like it just is like something that you need to do you need to be on your own right now maybe this is a, you know maybe you're in a partnership and you need to um separate from that individual or get a break from that individual so like because i feel like someone here is you know is smothering this may be someone who wants to leave home Okay, but they feel like, like, it's like last time I did it, it didn't work kind of thing. Or last time I tried this, it didn't, it didn't go over well. All right, with that Nine of Wands energy in the reverse there. But with the Hermit card showing up here in the reverse, like, the, the, the Okay. I just got a totally different, um... Let me just spit this out real quick and then we'll go back to where we are, okay? For some of you, this is an energy of you running from something for so long, being on your own for so long to your detriment, okay? Isolating yourself for so long out of fear, out of, out of anxiety, out of, you know, the PTSD, a of, of, of fear of things, uh, going wrong again, okay? And um, being at a point where you are wanting to, you're wanting a change of some, or you're needing a change. That's just like a totally separate message, but that wanted to come out here as well. Let's clarify this Capricorn. See what's going on here. I feel like there's a, um, some insecurities here. All right, there's a lack of belief in self about whether or not you can accomplish something. Okay. I also just feel like some of you are wanting to, you're wanting to give up on something because it's not, but you're wanting to run away. What's going on here? You want to give up on something, but you want to do it. You want to do it your way. You do. You want to do it your way, but you don't feel like your way. 
I don't know if you, if someone is telling you that your way is not the right way, or or um, you just are are unable to um, go within. I feel like there's also a repeated cycle here. Someone is not learning their lessons, or not uh, un unable to. Um, uh, yeah, not learning their lessons. Okay, the hermit card in reversal there. That's what's stopping you. That's someone who's who's not introspective, who doesn't learn their lessons. Okay, you should be able to um, go through situations. That's someone who has matured the hermit card. In reversal, it's like a lack of maturity. I feel. All right, just a lack of maturity in a certain situation. What's this seven of swords, please, for Capricorn? As far as where they are. Right now you want to leave. Okay. You just want to be on your own. But there's so much behind that. I feel like it would be a risk. Yeah, okay. We're getting the Seven of Swords again here. Bottom of the deck. This is also avoidance. Yeah, okay. This Seven of Swords here is you avoiding... Um, I feel like you're avoiding confrontation. Okay, look at this tower card coming out here in the reverse. You're avoiding, um, there's some guilt here. What'd you do? <laughs> You're avoiding consequences. Sorry guys, this is what happens with tarot. So if you don't, if you don't want to hear the truth or you don't want to face the truth, this isn't the channel to be on. I'll tell you that right now. Somebody here is avoiding consequences, okay? They are. They're avoiding the truth. Don't want to be enlightened. Avoiding turning your world upside down with that tower card. Avoiding destruction. Interesting. There's a lot of guilt here. Shame as well. There's shame. There's a lot of shame. But there's an inability to, um, like I was saying with that hermit card, there's an inability to... Um, you don't want to sit still. I feel like you're getting um, impatient with whatever this is, or somebody is. Somebody's getting impatient. <clears throat> There's an inability to see someone else's side of the story. All right, maybe that's you know what those what that guilt is or the consequences. There's an, it's, someone doesn't want to um, see. The, also, it's facts. Okay, these are facts. It's not it's not a side of a story. This is the facts. Someone doesn't want to someone doesn't want to face the facts of a situation. <coughs> Jeez. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Someone doesn't want to tell the truth or be honest. I feel like somebody's putting on a show. What is this about? Somebody's putting on a show. Someone is, yeah, someone is putting on a show, okay? There's, um, uh, someone is not being genuine. <clears throat> Someone's, someone here has cold feet as well. What is this supposed to be? Is someone, somebody trying to lock you down and that's what you're running from? All right, let's continue. <laughs> Tell me about this nine of wands in the reverse as far as where they want to be. You're trying to get out of there. You are trying to get out of there. Nine of wands in the reverse says I've done this shit before and it didn't work. I went out. I feel like they're coming for me. I went out. It's going to go the same way that it went last time. Get me out of here. I don't want to put in the work. Get me out of here. All right, that's what it says. I don't want to fight anymore. Okay, I don't. I don't care anymore. I don't. I don't. You know what I mean? You can have it. You. you it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Just. <laughs> that's what I'm getting there. King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Sorry. 
You have the Magician in the reverse, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Coins in the reverse. Yeah, you're not wanting to commit, okay? You want to you want to give up on whatever this is. You, this is a dropout. The Knight of Coins in the reverse. So someone is dropping out. I don't want to. I don't want to race anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to compete anymore. F this ish. I'm out. Okay. Um. This is someone who's feeling very weak. Okay. It's like I just don't have it in me anymore. But what's this King of Wands? Because the King of Wands, he's showing up in the upright. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag. You also have Pisces and Scorpio here. This King of Wands in the upright, this is someone who's powerful. This is someone who who, who is able to manifest. It's so weird. I feel like you're believing that you can't do something, but really you can. Let me get the next three. Yeah, look at this devil card. Four wands in the reverse, the moon. So you feel like whatever this is isn't going to work. I feel like you're self-sabotaging, all right? Whatever this is. <clears throat> Some of you, really, all it is is a conversation, a confession, or, a, you know, a changing your mindset. I feel like a lot of this, it has to do with your mindset, because something here is not as it seems, all right, with the moon card and that knight of coins. That's a part of a part of why you're dropping out of the race is because you're afraid. Okay? Because you're afraid. But with the moon card and the devil showing up too, I mean both of those energies are something that operates as showing you something, but really it's something else. You know what I mean? That's how the devil operates, and that's what the moon card means. And between the two is that four of wands in reverse, which is marriage, which is commitment, which is um, a happy, healthy home, okay? There's something about that that you're not seeing accurately. I feel like you can do whatever this is, okay? Whatever it is. He's showing up here with the king of wands in the upright. Whatever this is, you can do it. But um, there's something about um, your mindset, okay, and, and, and feeling guilty. I mean, maybe you just need to confess. I mean, you know, if that seven of swords is some kind of cheating that you did, <laughs> maybe you just need to confess, okay? Let's move on to this hermit. The alien in the reverse. <sighs> What's this alien in the reverse for Capricorn? So what's holding them back? This is like extreme seclusion. I can relate. What's the ace of, the ace of swords in the reverse? I don't know why I just said that out loud. <laughs> what's the alien in the reverse, please? Uh, I love you guys. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're trying to run. Uh, you're trying to run, but you're self-sabotaging. You need to just have this conversation, okay? I feel like you're seeing it. You're not able to see it clearly because there's some other trauma involved here. You're, you're self-sabotaging. And I feel like, um, you know, the way that you're wanting to go about it is, is, is manipulative. Okay. Empress in the reverse. Three of swords in the reverse and the ace of coins. This is what's holding you back. The inability. Yes, there's some kind of mother wound here. All right, someone who wasn't nurtured, someone who was neglected um, as a child, or you know, maybe this is someone who neglects their children right now, and that's a part of what's holding you back. But with this empress in the reverse, so there's someone here who doesn't know their worth, there's someone here who doesn't know their value. Okay, this is someone who um, is unable to, to to accurately and healthily give and receive love. All right, that could be a lesson here that you're needing to learn. Like I said, that 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 hermit card in the reverse is like, um, 
that's growth, that's elevation, that's maturity, that is um, being able to go through situations, face it head on, learn from that thing, dig in your pocket when you get into another situation in the future and not make the same mistake. And it showing up in the reversal tells me that something here, you know, you, I feel like you're running from a problem here that you, it's a part of that same thing. This is a repeated cycle. Yeah, it's a repeated cycle. And we see we, we saw it with that devil card in the reversal as well. Okay? There's something here that, that you're needing to face. What's being, what's holding you back? Why is this ace of coins here? Someone's trying to offer you this damn ace of coins. Let me look at the next three Capricorn. The Empress and the Emperor showing up in the reverse right next to each other. This is about a relationship. And that may be a part of your lesson, learning when to when to depart or how to depart. <laughs> okay? Because we have this Queen of Swords here in the reverse, the Page of Swords here in the reverse. Something is not as it seems, honey. No. Something is not as it seems. All right, there's manipulation here. And maybe that manipulation is on both parts. <laughs> you got the Empress and the Emperor showing up in the reverse. These are two people who don't know how to make stable decisions together. Right in between them is that Three of Swords. It's like a, a, um, a repeated cycle with, look at the Knight of Wands staring at me, okay? A repeated cycle of, of people who are driven by passion and don't know how to control their urges, perhaps, or don't know how to make practical, reliable decisions for, for everyone involved. There's also selfishness here. There's a lesson here that needs to be learned, okay? mother, father, there's some kind of um, childhood wound, which we all have, right? I don't understand why my cards all of a sudden have glitter on them. Where did this come from? I can't stand glitter, y'all. <laughs> I can't. So if we ever get to the point where y'all want to send me some 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 cards or, or some uh, some gifts or something, gl not glitter, okay? <laughs> what do you have for Capricorn, please? An oracle for Capricorn. Thank you. This card has been coming out for everybody. <clears throat> Number nine, it says curiouser and curiouser, discovery, inquiry, weirdness, and curiosity. I guess this really is just a week of us needing to go deep as a collective. Okay. Um, instead of running away from whatever this is, I feel like you need to be curious about it. And, um, you know, that will lighten the load in the future for you. That's, that's, that's what you're needing to focus on. Okay. Capricorn, this is the message I have for you guys. I hope that it helps as you move forward and make decisions in life and love and in general. Don't forget to like the video, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.